Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. So guys, I uploaded this video a few minutes ago, I, and after uploading it, I realized that y'all couldn't hear me. <laughs> and someone commented and let me know that y'all could not hear a word that I was saying. So... I'm re-recording the first part of the video. So here goes. Mr. David David Leibenson. Do you guys remember that Kim Kardashian ruined my life guy who basically um was gonna be Kim's business partner? He created Kimoji, he pitched Kim and her team, you know, the Kimoji mock-ups, they looked at it, asked Kim if he had trademarked anything. He said no. And they basically was in communication with him because they were interested. Also, he owned a business that, that is called Sensagram. Well, once owned. And that was also taken from him as well by Kim Kardashian. Not only did Kim Kardashian steal his business, you know, allegedly. And he has provided evidence as well. He has provided evidence. Kim also sued him. And at the end of the lawsuit, he was broke, homeless, divorced, living out of his car, and the list goes on. We haven't seen or heard anything from him in a little while. And many of us have been wondering what is going on with him. Now he's telling us that he's back, but it seems as though people are still screwing over this man and his money, honey. I kid you not. So let's get into this clip that he has recently shared on Instagram, and then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. You know what's messed up? I'm owed hundreds of thousands in principle from past endeavors, and if I had that money, it would get me out of this perpetual struggle to rebuild and get me on my feet. It would allow me to make more progress on everything. It would fund a big part of my legal for a new lawsuit against Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner, if not all of it. Maybe get to a resolution. It pisses me off because I was there to back these people when the cash was needed for um, me. A nice but then when I need it the most, it's crickets. Quite a lot by people. But I do hope that something really and truly comes through for him and justice is served. You can also check him out on Insta. Um, he's David, David Livenson. And I really think that no more than ever, because everything that is going on with Diddy, Kim Kardashian connection, possibly, allegedly, I think now is a good time more than ever for Mr. Livenson to push forward his um experience. Keep on telling his story. If y'all don't know, Mr. David Livenson, he had um an Instagram Sorry, he had a business that was called Sensagram. He basically created Kimoji. He um basically went to Kim, pitched her a deal, showed her the mock-ups and everything for Kimoji, and they asked her, asked him, sorry, if he got any if he had trademark um the brand. He told them no. And they were on in communication with him saying that it's a good deal, you know. They're offering partnership. They're going to go with it only to steal everything from him, allegedly. And then after stealing everything from him, bullying his business partner to get Sensagram, which Kim know, um, which Kim got from him. And then after he took legal actions against her, he, um, Kim countersued him, his lawyer encouraged him to drop the case and then he had to pay Kim millions of dollars, honey. It's really horrible, really, really, really terrible. And there's so much about this um situation with Kim and Mr. David Leibenson. I did a few videos here on my channel. Um April Butcher Chisa did a video Sloan, like practically every small, you know, channel or people who really believe in standing up for people and other people really came out. They spoke about it. Many of us, we kept doing videos because we believed in him and his story. And we were just hoping and praying that, you know, he would have gotten something, you know, for everything that Kim had done to him, allegedly. 
At one point, he said that they made him a measly offer, saying that Kimoji was not doing good anymore. He did not accept that offer because he believed that the offer was an insult after, you know, Kim sued him, run him to the ground, leaving him homeless, his wife leaving him. So, I mean, you can understand his pain. He has lost so much already. You giving him a small change is just an insult and he was not having it. And you cannot blame him because if he has lost so much, what else does he have to lose, right? So now he's coming back and he's not afraid anymore. They have sent him a cease and desist. It didn't work. He's fighting back and I just want people to just rally as much support as they can around him I believe that you know because the Daily Mail did an article on it and they said when they reached out to Kim and her legal team Kim said that Mr. Leibenson gifted her his business like who would gift you their business and okay if he gifted you his business why did you turn around and sue this man and completely ruined his life leaving him homeless this bitch is gonna get her karma in a bad way and she deserves to get it providing that the allegations against her are factual and that's all i have to say about that let me know your thoughts while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up share if you care stay safe stay blessed see you guys later Peace.